my name is Chloe. And my name is Chelsea. And we are very happy to have you here today. Yes, and we can play to worship the Lord with you. Additionally, I'm very excited to share this month's updates, activities, and announcements. And before that, Chelsea, we would like to welcome everyone, especially those who are watching us right now for the first time. Hello, everyone. We appreciate your presence this Sunday with us and the Lord. In addition, we would like to recognize the presence of those who are watching us right now for the first time. Welcome to our family. We hope that this will not be the first and last time na makakasama namin kayo. Kaya naman kind of comment first time and we'd love to catch up with you. Here's our events and announcements. We are inviting you to experience God's favor and anointing this coming January 9 to 14 every 6 p.m. for our prayer and fasting. Get ready to encounter God and build a deeper relationship with Him. Don't miss it! Church, get ready to run to it. Ready yourselves to start and finish the race with the Lord. Just approach any CTS leader para mas maipaliwanag po ito sa inyo. The most awaited and life-changing event is back. Get ready to encounter God like you have never been before. Be ignited with purpose, passion, and power. Our two-day life-changing event will be this coming February 24 to 25, 2023. See you there! And of course, we are inviting you to come and experience some of us on our new time slots this year, posted right now on your streets. Please take note that the 2.30 p.m. service is for the YEs out there. Don't forget to bring your family, friends, and loved ones. Kita the kids! Don't forget to also like, follow, and subscribe to our official social media accounts to stay posted on our church activities. Get ready to experience God's awesome and extravagant presence. Let us encounter Him once again and let Him move in our lives freely. Kaya naman, we are inviting everyone to stand up and sing hymns and psalms to our mighty and unstoppable God. Again, I am Chelsea. And I am Chloe. God, God bless and enjoy God's, God's presence. Why you came? I'm 
amazing grace that saves the lifted out from the mire place we are your people we are the reason why you came amazing grace that saved the lifted us from the mire place heaven is open the clouds are watching over all the earth that says you're always there Never surrender, your love is so relentless. You never friends with you, your love has set us free. We are, we are the people of the Lord. We are the light of the world, and so the brings hope to all. We are, we are the better of the world. The journey is up to all. Glory, all the people of the Lord. Come on, all people of the Lord, just clap those hands. God is good. Oh, God is good. And so today, come on, just swing with us. Sing it. Woo. We are your people. We are the reason. We are the reason why we came. Amazing grace that saves. The lifted us from the mire clay. We are your people. We are the reason why you came. Amazing grace that saves. The lifted us from the mire clay. Heaven is open. The clouds are watching over all the earth. It says you're always there. Never surrender. Your love is so relentless. You never fail to give the love of set us free. Woo! We are, we are the people of the Lord. We are the light of the world. And so that brings hope to all. We are, we are yes, God. the better of the world. The journey is up to all the nations. Glory. Can you see those hands lifted up? We are, we are the people of the Lord. We are the light of the world. And so that brings us to us. We are, we are the bearer of the world. The share is out to all the nation. Spread his glory. All the people of the Lord. Hallelujah, come on. People of God, today can you just clap those hands and we will declare this, that we are God's people. Come on, everybody, clap your hands. We are, we are, we are God's people.
the world You're the greatest I'll sing until it's heard You're the greatest It's what you deserve You're the greatest Jesus, I will lift your name up high Come on, give up the name of the Lord in this place I lift your name up high Give you what you deserve And hold nothing in reserve No matter how I'm feeling I still believe it is what you deserve Oh, my praise, my praise, my praise belongs to you All our praises Oh, my praise, my praise, my praise belongs to you Come on, shut it up I'll shout it to the world You're the greatest I'll sing until it's heard You're the greatest It's what you deserve You're the greatest Jesus, I will lift your name up high Come on, we're gonna lift you up in this place I'll lift your name up high Are you ready, church of God? One, two, one, two, three, let's go! Come on, everybody, clap your hands. Woo! Wanna give you what you deserve and hold that thing in your No matter how I'm feeling, no matter how I'm feeling, oh, I still, I still believe it's what you deserve. All my praise, my praise yeah, my praise. belongs to you. All belongs to you. All my praise, my praise, my praise, my praise belongs to you. Yeah, I'll shout it to the world. You're the greatest. I'll sing until it's heard. You're the greatest. It's what you deserve. You're the greatest. Jesus, I will lift your name up high. Come on, just lift up the name of the Lord in this place. I lift your name up high. Are you ready, church of God? One, two, one, two, three, let's go. Everybody say, Jesus, Jesus. Jesus, Jesus, let everything that has been praise the Lord, for He is worthy to be praised. Everybody, shout out to the Lord. Can you bang makita ng mga kamay na yan? Well, if you higher, sing it one accord, for You are worthy to be praised. Everybody. Shout out to the Lord Oh, let everything that has breath Let everything that has breath Praise the Lord For He is worthy to be praised Everybody, shout out to the Lord Oh, we'll lift you higher We'll lift you higher Sing it one accord For you are worthy to be praised Everybody, Shout out to the Lord Come on, lift your hands up You're the greatest You're the greatest You're the greatest Jesus, I will lift your name up high Come on, we're gonna lift up the name of Jesus in this place I lift your name up high We will gonna dance and shout and one, two, one, two, three, let's go. Woo! Everybody, let us rejoice in the presence of the Lord. Come on, let's sing it out. Let everything that has been praise the Lord, for He is worthy to be praised. Everybody, shout out. Ready ko pa makita ang mga kamay na nakataas para sa Panginoon? Everybody, shout out to the Lord. Come on, one more 
champ that everything that has bread everything that has bread praise the lord for he is worthy to be praised everybody shout out to the lord oh we lift you higher we lift you higher sing in one accord for you are worthy to be praised everybody shout out to the lord for the Lord. Give the highest praises. Give the best clap offering. Come on, don't stop clapping your hands for the Lord. Just clap it up. Just clap it up. Oh, we praise you, Jesus. Oh, we praise you. Oh, we praise you. Hallelujah. It says that let everything that has breath praise the lord and church you are breathing right now you are alive right now and so if you have that breath praise the lord as it says in the book of chronicles chapter 29 verses 11 to 30 yours lord is the greatness and the power and the glory and the majesty and the splendor for everything in heaven and earth is yours. Yours, Lord, is the kingdom you are exalted as head over all. You, you are the ruler of all things. In your hands are strength and power to exalt and give strength to all. Now our God, now our God, we give you thanks and praise your glorious name, O oh Lord. And now... We give you praises and glorious name. And church today, can you just lift those hands? Can you just lift those hands for the Lord and give Him your endless praises? Hallelujah. Oh, come on, just give it up. If you have the breath right now, let it praise the Lord. Let it praise the Lord. can wait for eternity join the song they're already singing holy 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 are you Lord. just to bow down before your throne see your face i cry out be because you're holy, holy, holy are you, Lord. Jesus, King of kings, Jesus, majesty. For eternity, join the song they're already singing. Holy, holy, holy are you, Lord. Just to bow down before your throne, see your face, I cry out. Because you're holy, holy, holy are you, Lord. Jesus, King of kings, yes it is. Jesus, majesty. Send 
standing with those who have heard well done proclaiming forever that you're the one who's faithful 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 are you
the name of the Lord in this place. Let us sing how great the Lord in this place. Oh. Yes, God. Oh, we lift you up for glory. to accept our praises and our worship. Oh Lord, we magnify you. We bless your name. You're the righteous one, the holy one. Jesus, the King of kings and the Lord of lords. And today, Lord, all we want is your presence. Lord, thank you for bringing us here into your presence. Thank you for bringing us here to feel your presence, God, and to see the wonders of your grace and the beauty of your glory, God. That's why today, continue to move upon our lives and in this place, O oh Lord. We give you back all the glory, the praises and the honor in the mighty name of Jesus, we pray. Everybody says, Amen. God bless everyone.
Amen. Praise God. Before we go to the Word of God, talongin po muna natin yung mga, kung meron po tayo mga first-timer po today. Meron po ba tayo mga first-timer po ngayon? Just raise your hand. Wow, meron po tayo doon. Dito po ba sa kabilang side, meron po tayong first-timer po dito. Wag po kayong mahiya. Ano po, meron po kayong, uh, wag po kayong aalis mamaya sa mga first-timer po natin. Meron po kayong free na drink. Ano po, free na drink po, free milk tea doon po mamaya sa ating Sunday School Room. Hintayin nyo lang po doon mamaya. Amen po? So, we love to worship the Lord with you. We hope na hindi lang po ito yung first time na makakasama namin kayo, but make this church as your permanent spiritual home. Amen po? Praise the Lord. So, sige po, tayo po ay muling manalangin sa pagpapatuloy po sa ating sasalta ng Panginoon. Tayo po muling manalangin. Lord, we thank you for your presence. And Lord, today, we thank you for your word. We ask for your anointing. We ask for your wisdom, God. As we study your word today, samahan niyo po kami, gabayan niyo kami, Panginoong Diyos. And Lord, let your word sink in in our spirit. Let your, let your word transform us, teach us, correct us, rebuke us, and train us in righteousness, O Lord God. And Lord, bless your people as we hear your word today. Let your name be lifted up and glorified. We honor you. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen and amen. Praise the Lord. By the way, ngayon pong umagang ito, ang pag-uusapan po, ang title po ng ating message today, ayan, is Run to Win. Sabi mo sa katabi mo, Run to Win. Alam niyo po, siguro po, napapansin niyo ang ating church ay may mga nakikita na kayo. May nakalagay dyan, may nakalagay po doon sa labas, na tarpaulin, na malalaking Run to Win. Amen po? Because today, this is the first day of our challenge na Lahat po tayo ma-involve po dito sa run to win na ito. Amen? But bago po natin ituloy yan mamaya, amen, gusto ko pong ipakita itong, uh, ito pong uh, uh, mga tao na yan. Ayan, nakapunta na po ba kayo sa Remy Field? Ayan, sino po nakapunta na dyan? Ayan, sino po nakatakbo na dyan? Sino po yung kumain lang dyan? Ayan, di ba? Takbo na tayo. Ano ba? Jogging tayo, pagpunta sa ano, kumain lang. Ano po, hindi, hindi po la, nagbawas ng timbang, kundi nagdagdag pa. Amen po. At alam niyo po, lahat ng pumupunta dito sa Remy Field, ayan, nakikita niyo po yung mga tumatakbo na yan, many of people there is not run, running to win. Maraming tumatakbo, hindi po sila, hindi nila gustong manalo just to have some fun. Or maybe some of them just to be, just to run. Amen? Without the intention to win. Amen? Marami pong nasa racetrack, but only few of those people ano po, is, has the intention to run to win. Amen po? Pero kapag pumunta ka dyan, ayan, pambira, pag nakita mo pa lang, di ba? Buwelo pa lang, talagang may intention na manalo. Amen po? May intention talaga na magtagumpay. Amen po? Uh, kita natin dito, that these are the people who run to win. At alam niyo po sa ating pong buhay, sa ating pong tinatawag na Christian life. This is the race that God has given to us. Marami rin mga Kristiyano na ganyan. They are Christian but they don't have the intention to win in this Christian life. Ano po? At but there are also other Christians, other believers who has that intention to win. They are running the race with the intention to win. Kaya po tayo po ang ating simbahan nag nag nagpapaalala, nagre-remind sa atin na andito na tayo, ipanalo na natin. Eh may kumbaga sa pag-aaral, nag-aral ka na rin lang, galingan mo na. Nagtrabaho ka na rin lang, pag-usayan mo na. Naging Kristiyano ka na rin lang, ipanalo mo na. Amen po ba 'yon? Seryosohin mo na. Hindi po pwedeng atras abante. Amen po ba 'yon? But ang nakakalungkot, marami pong Kristiyano, they are distracted. They have wrong priority. Ano po, they, don't, they don't have this intention to run, to win. They don't have the intention to win in this Christian life. Adya po ba tayo? Amen. Kaya po ito po ang gusto po natin ituro sa atin. Bakit po tayo tinuturoan ng church na dapat let's run to win? Because winning ay losing is predictable. Tignan mo ang tao, di ba, hindi magde-training, di ba, sa, ano po yan, sa mga laban, sa mga atlet, hindi magde-training, walang gagawin, kakain lang, matutulog. Amen? Paglalaban yan, talo yan. Amen? Pero yung meron yung naghahanda, nagpe-prepare talaga pong ginagalingan, inaaral, dinidetalya yung kanila kailangan gawin. Ano po, nananalo, nagtatagumpay because losing is predictable and same thing with winning in life, winning in Christian life is predictable too. That's why we will not just live day after day without 
winning this Christian life for the glory of God. Amen po ba yun? Kaya dapat ganyan, buwelo pa lang, pambira, mayroon ng intensyon na manalo. Amen po? Tignan mo nga katabi mo kung ano ba yan, kung may intensyon ba na manalo yan. Amen, amen. Dapat di yung nakatastas yung ano, kung habang tumatakbo, kumakaway, ano po no. Iba ganun lang yung Christian life nila, ano po, kumakaway, nakangiti, may dalang kinakain. Pero ito, grabe, oh. ang bira, buwelo pa lang. Hindi ba pwedeng hindi, ma- hindi ano yan, hindi tatapusin ng laban yan. Amen po. And today, our text for today is in 1 Corinthians chapter 9, verse 24 to 27. Alam niyo po, ito pong, ito pong text na ito, uh, sinulat po ni Paul, at nagkaroon siya ng analogy sa, mga, sa race, sa isa pong karera, sa isa pong mga atleta. So, basahin po natin, at alam niyo po, ang mga at taga-Kurinto, sa kanya, doon niya po ito tinuro. <laughs> Sabi niya po dito, don't you realize that in a race, everyone runs? But only one gets the price. Ano po? Sabi niya, so run to? Pwede ba tapikin mo yung katabi mo? Sabi mo sa kanya, so run to? Win. Amen po. Yan po yung sinabi niya. And ang verse 25, ang sabi niya po dito sa may verse 25, pakigalaw po, mukhang nawala. Yan, verse 25, sabi niya, All athletes are disciplined in their training. They do it to win a prize that will fade away. But we do it for an eternal price. Kaya sabi niya, so I run with purpose in every step. I am not just shadow boxing. In verse 27, my last verse, sabi niya po dito, so I discipline my body like an athlete training it to do what it should. Otherwise, I fear that after preaching to others, I myself might be disqualified. Amen po? Alam niyo po ito pong analogy ni Paul about sa ating Christian life, Christian race. Amen po na 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 nasdan na, na doon po tayo ngayon lahat ng mga mananampalataya kasama po tayo diyan. Amen. At alam niyo po, ito po ang ginawang analogy ni Paul kasi po sa Corinth, merong every 2 years na tinatawag po nung it isthmus game. Yung isthmus game na yun para po siyang Olympic, para po siyang uh, Olympic game at yung mga nanalo ina-awardan po doon po sa May Bema Seat. Ano po yung Bema Seat, may stage doon, doon po ina-awardan yung para po sa Olympic Ano po, doon po ina-awardan yung mga nananalo. Amen po? Kaya yung mga taga-Kurinto, they can relate into it. They can easily relate because of Ismus game that is happening every two years in Corinth. Kaya po yung analogy ni Paul about race, about an athlete, ito po ay relate na relate po ang mga taga-Kurinto. Amen? This Christian life, ano po, a race, and, and at tayo po, we are like an athlete to finish it. That's why we need to run to win. Hindi ka lang po kristyano, kundi mananagumpay na kristyano. Sabi mo sa katabi mo, isa kang mananagumpay na kristyano. Ayan. Praise God. Amen po. At alam niyo po, it is not just mention ito pong, ito pong race at price na ito. Di ba sabi niya kanina, we do it with what? Eternal price. Amen. Kaya po doon sa 1 Corinthians chapter 3, binabasa ko lang po kanina, hindi ko po na ilagay dyan. Maybe next week, yun po ang itatopic ko. Ano po no? Yung, yung kapag ang kristyano daw po pala ay yung kanyang mga reward ay hindi niya ginalingan, hindi niya pinagbubuti. Ano po, ang, ang ginawa niyang pundasyon lamang ay sabi niya doon po pwedeng gumamit ng gold, ng silver, ng hay, ng straw. Amen. Kapag hindi niya pinagbuti, sabi ng Bible, he will suffer a great loss. Sayang, andun ka na, nawala pa. Ano po, naging kristyano ka na, maliligtas, pero yung reward, yung iba, okay na, punta na ako sa langit. At least, nasa langit ako, Lord. Pero sabi ng Bible, you will suffer a great loss. Ibig sabihin, may great loss, kakait ando doon tayo, pero because, ano po, because of lack of intention to win in this race of life, in this race of Christian life, sabi ng Bible, we will suffer a great loss. At ito po ay na-mention din yung race at yung eternal price in, in, in ano po, Philippians chapter 3, verse 14. Si Paul na naman po ito, sabi niya, I press on to reach the end of the race. I press on. Ano po, uh, ipupush ko to, itutodo ko to kasi hindi naman madali ang karera. Hindi naman madali itong race ito. Sabi niya, but I will press on to reach the end of the race and receive the heavenly prize for which God through Jesus Christ is calling us. Ayun, ano po no? Meron tinatawag na heavenly price. Ano po itong heavenly price na ito? 
Ah, uh, ito yung sinasabi din kanina doon sa 1 Corinthians chapter 3. This is our reward. Amen. We are all in this if we believe in Jesus Christ, we are in this race called Christian life. Amen po. Kaya dapat tayo po mga Kristiyano, hindi lang po tayo Kristiyano. Dapat mananagumpay na Kristiyano. Amen. This is the race of Christian life, the race of our calling, the race of our purpose and this requires commitment. This requires discipline. This requires training in order for us to win. Amen po? Kaya po, kailangan kong manalo. Bakit may heavenly price eh? Ayaw ko na, na ma-miss ko ito. Kasi sabi ng Bible, we will, be, we, we will suffer a great loss if we miss this. Amen po? Kaya, kaya po ang church, tuturuan tayo. Paano ba ako magtagumpay? Amen po ba yung gusto po ba natin yun? Amen. How to run to win? How can I win this race of life? How can I win this Christian life? Amen. Dito po sa text na binasa natin kanina, paano ko ba ito mapagtatagumpayan? Una po, we need to run with preparation. Sabi mo sa katabi mo, run with preparation. Amen. Dapat naghahanda tayo. Kaya ang simbahan, inihahanda tayo sa laban, inihahanda tayo sa ating Christian life, tinuturuan tayo na maging matibay, na maging matatag, na maging lumalim sa salita ng Panginoon. Amen. Para po ito yung mga paghahanda because we are all on this race. Amen. Kaya sabi niya ni Paul dito, sabi niya all athletes are disciplined in their training. So dinid yung mga yung mga daw na mga atleta, dinidisiplina nila yung kanilang salid, sarili nila sa training. Naghahanda, nagpe-prepare. Amen po. Nadadanda ko po ako po ay isang athlete. Ano po ako po ay isang volleyball player. Ano po uh, elementary, high school, hanggang college. Hanggang ngayon po, ano po, naglalaro pa rin po ako. Amen. At kami po, before we go to an to, uh, to event, two-day event, sy- syempre yung mga zonal meet, district meet, provincial meet, yung Clara lang po na pinuntahan namin, yun lang yung five days. Eh. Ano po? But sometimes, in just a two-day event, we prepare months. We prepare months of training just to compete in a two-day event. Grabe yun na po. Months of training. Paghahandaan. Di ba kapag lumaban ka, kailangan nakahanda ka. Bakit? Kailangan maayos yung play, malakas ang katawan, mabilis. Kailangan alam nyo yung detalye nung ginagawa. We prepare for it. Amen po? Pinaghahandaan sa, sa event lang yan, sa game lang yan. At ang sabi niya, we do it to win a prize that will fade away. Amen po? Mawawala din. Di ba? Yung mga... Medal namin noon, mga trophy namin. Hindi ko na alam kung nasaan na ngayon. Basura na ngayon. Amen po? Pero yung ating po palang ginagawa ay merong eternal price. Hindi po magpa-fade away, hindi mawawala, kundi po ito yung ating eternal reward sa Panginoon. That's why we need to run with preparation. Amen po? Imagine, di ba sa school, bago ka magkatrabaho, nagpa-prepare din. Mag-aaral ka ng... 16 years. Grabe, 16 years. Bago lang. Mag, may OJT pa. Amen? Dati 14 years lang ngayon. 16 years na. Bago ka matanggap sa trabaho, inihahanda ka bago ka magtrabaho. Sa eskwelahan, inihahanda ka. Sa trabaho, inihahanda ka. Kaya dapat ang Christian life mo, pinaghahandaan mo rin. Amen po ba yun? Ang ating race of Christian life, we need to prepare. Kaya dito, ano po, ano po yung mga Yung mga nagtitraining, sila po yung mga intentional sa growth nila. Ito po yung mga lumalago. Ito po yung mga nananalo. Amen po? Training is hard, but it is not a waste of time. Amen? It is a preparation. Doing a shortcut, ano po, will lead you to a longer process. Ano po, kapag tayo po ay gusto natin mag-shortcut, sayang po. Kaya po ang church, meron siyang programa. Ano yung programa ng church? Meron siyang run to win. Kaya nakita niyo yung run to win na yan, run to win dyan, run to win doon, run to win dito, pupunta ka sa Facebook mo, run to win pa rin. Amen po. Kasi gusto natin na lahat tayo makasama dito. Bakit po ba, ano ba ba ang laman ni run to win? Bakit po tayo inihimok na sumama dyan? Mamaya po, sa labas, meron po tayong commitment form if you want to run to involve in this preparation ng natin in our Christian life. Meron po tayo mga commitment card doon. We can fill it up and ihulog po natin doon sa drop box at bubunutin po yung inyong pangalan at ang mabubunot pupunta sa langit ngayon din. Ano po? <laughs> hindi po, hindi po, hindi po ganon. Biro lang po. Ano po, no? So, uh, hindi po lahat po ng mga maghuhulog kasasama, sila po yung kasama sa challenge. Amen po? 
So ano ba ang meron sa Run to Win na ito? Ano bang gagawin natin sa Run to Win Challenge? You will be equipped with the Word of God. Meron tayong 40 days workbook. 40 days workbook which is designed to, to grow our spirit which is designed to, to have, uh, to, to have a, a knowledge ano po, greater knowledge sa word ng Lord yung spiritual foundation po natin lagi ba po natin ang Panginoon yan po ang gagawin sa atin and ano po po pangalawa you will become an instrument of God to win souls for Jesus Amen, Amen? alam niyo po isa sa mga reward natin ano po yung pag, yung pag tayo po ay nag-share ng gospel Nag-share ng word of God. Diyan po tayo i-reward. Kasi sabi ng Bible, di ba yung kay Apollo at kay, kay Paul? Di ba si Paul ang nagtanim? Di ba si Apollo ang nagdilig? Pero ang Lord ang nagbibigay ng growth. At sabi niya, i-reward daw ng Lord kahit na yung nagtanim. So ibig sabihin, pag tayo nag-share ng gospel, nag-share ng word of God, it's either you, you sow a seed or you water it, may reward tayo. Kaya dito, tinitrain tayo, inihahanda tayo, not just to prepare us for the race of Christian life, but also to, to reap reward from heaven, from the Lord. Amen po? At pangatlo, ano po ba mangyayari sa atin? You will level up your leadership. Grabe, ano po? Kasi sa every Wednesday, we have our leadership lesson, how to lead a small group, how to lead ano po, people. Amen. Meron po tayong uh, kasama po yan sa mga gagawin. And of course, pang-apat na pinakamaga, you will be discipled and make disciple. Ano po, ikaw ay i-disciple at ikaw din ay mag-make disciple which is the command of God in our life. The great commandments. Ano po, the great, ano po pala, commission. Amen po. Ayan po yan, yan po yung ginagawa, yung laman po ng run to win challenge. Kasabi mo sa katabi mo, kasama tayo dyan. Amen po, kasama tayo dyan. Kapag na-miss natin, yung paghahanda ng church, ginagawa tayo, pinaprepare tayo, na ihanda po tayo para po dito sa race of life natin. Huwag po kayong magdalala, may mga manuals po tayo na gagamitin, paano po yung workbook natin dyan, sabay-sabay tayo kasi gusto po natin na lumago po tayo spiritually at lumago din po ang mga kasama natin dito po sa ating simbahan. Amen po ba yun? So, ayan po yung mga gagawin natin mamaya. Huwag natin i-miss ito mamaya doon po sa labas, sa may table po doon. Just write your name, just check po natin yan. At po, pirmahan natin, ihulog natin, and we are part of the challenge. Ano po, pati po contact number natin, ilagay na lang din po natin. Amen po ba yun? Kaya po, in, in other words, what this run to win challenge will do, ano ba ang gagawin natin to summarize this? Yan, we will win souls. Ano po, intentional discipleship and nurture new C2S leader. Ayan po yung magkaroon po tayo, mag-level up tayo ng leadership para po maging C2S leader po tayo. Amen po pa yun? Sino po ang kasama ulit dyan magsabi ng amen? amen. By the way, pagka pag lahat po lang sasama mamaya, pwede tayo magpa-picture doon. Mayroon tayong mga, ang tawag doon, di ko alam kung ang tawag doon, mga hinahawakan. Pwede rin po dito. Ayan, kasama nyo lang yung speaker dyan. Ano po no? So, Pwede rin po kahit saan, meron kayong hawak ng mga commitment card, yung mga magkakasitoes, papicture tayo na ibig sabihin, we accept the challenge. Amen po? Because this is the program of the church to prepare you in this race. Amen? Kaya sabi niya, magta-training eh, nag-discipline sila sa training. Ito yung training natin, ito po yung ginagawa ng church to train the people of God to become prepared to a race of Christian life. Amen? Are we still here? Amen. At pangalawa, how can I run to win in this life? Number one, I need to run with preparation. Secondly, I need to run with purpose. Na yung aking, dapat po pala may purpose yung aking pagtakbo, yung aking ginagawa. Amen. Kaya po ang sabi ni Paul sa, doon po sa my verse 26, So I run with purpose in every step. Amen, hindi po, hindi siya gumagalaw ng bara-bara lang. Hindi siya nabubuhay ng walang direction. Hindi siya nag-decision nag, 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 nag ng walang basihan. Kundi lahat ng ginagawa daw ni Paul ay run with purpose. At tayo po ba alam ba natin ang ating purpose sa ating buhay? Do you know the purpose of your life? Do you know the reason of your existence? Do you know why you, ha you are here on earth? Naalala ko po sabi ni Miles Monroe, the greatest tragedy in life is not death, but life without purpose. Amen po? The greatest tragedy daw po ng buhay is not death, but life without purpose. So tayo po ba, are we running with purpose? May purpose ba yung ating pamumuhay, yung ating ginagawa every day of our life? Ano ba, uh, may, may silbi ba yan? Amen? Uh, paano mo, pa, 
Paano mo malalaman na may purpose yan? Of course, una, you need to know your purpose. Ano pa ang purpose natin? Amen? Ano pa ang purpose natin? Sabi po ng Isaiah 43, 7, lahat daw po ng mga nilikha ng Panginoon na tumatawag sa Kanya, sabi, everyone who is called by my name, whom I created for my glory. So, ibig sabihin, tayo pong mga mananampalataya, tayo pong mga tao, nilikha tayo ng Panginoon, hindi para sa ating trabaho, hindi para sa ating negosyo, para sa ating pamilya. We created by God for His glory. Amen. So, every, so, si Paul, sabi niya, I have to run with purpose. Ano pong ibig sabihin yun? Dapat lahat ng iniisip ko, ginagawa ko, hinahakbangan ko, dinidesisyonan ko, dapat yan naka, nakasentro sa pagbibigay ng glory sa aking Panginoong Diyos. Kasi dyan tayo, tinawag ng Panginoon, dyan tayo nilikha ng Panginoon to give glory to our God. Our purpose is to glorify God. Amen po ba yun? Kaya si Paul sabi niya, in this Christian life, in order for us to run the race, we need to run with purpose. We need to run with purpose. Kaya yung ginagawa natin, itong run to win challenge, may purpose yan. I-grow ang spirit mo, ihanda ka sa laban ng buhay na ito, ng Christian life na ito. Amen. Para makapagbigay tayo ng glory sa Panginoon. Amen. Are we still here? Amen. Amen po. Praise the Lord. And lastly, Ano pa ang aking kailangan para po managumpay sa laban na ito? Third, we need to run with perseverance. Pag sinabi pong run with perseverance, uh, kailangan pang matagalan din tayo. Kasi ang laban ng, ng, na ito hindi po ay pabilisan. Christian life is not a sprint. It is a marathon. Amen po, kaya kailangan hindi lang po ito pagalingan, kundi po patibayan ang pagiging kristyano. Patibayan. Kaya sabi ni Paul, yung si, sabi dito, I discipline my body like an athlete, training it to do what it should. Ano po, train ko yung aking katawan ng parang isang atleta. Alam niya kasi na hindi madali ang laban. Alam niya kasi na along the way with this race, amen, ay ma- mapapagod ka. Along the way of this race, masasaktan ka, masakit na ang paa, masakit na ang likod, masakit na ang sigmura. Hirap na tumakbo. Alam ni Paul. Kasi sabi niya, I discipline my body like an athlete. Ano po, training it to do what it should be. Otherwise, ano po, after preaching to others, I myself be disqualified. And I realize, ito po palang race of Christian life natin is not a 100 meter run. This race is not a 400 meter run. I realized that this race is a marathon. This race is a marathon. That's why I need to persevere. I need to run with endurance. I need to run ano po, with, with my best of my ability. Kasi hindi lahat ng mga kasama dito tumatagal. Kasi dahil matagal ito, doon na darating yung sasakit na ang paa mo. Ano po, mahihirapan ka na humingas, masakit na ang katawan. Uh, kaya yung iba, maraming umaayaw na eh. Maraming umaayaw na, kayo na lang. Uh, kasi pagka nakakaramdam na ng hirap, sa race of Christian life, bumibigay na. Ano po? Kayo na lang. Ayoko na mag-serve kay Lord. Ayoko na mag-simba. Eh kasi pag nakakaranas na ng hardship, ng persecution, Pag nakakaranas na ng discouragement, ng offense, tumitigil. That's why we need to run with perseverance. Ano po, in this Christian life, it may have trials, it may have persecution, discouragement, and some of us may want to give up. But, ano po, ang challenge ko sa inyo, kagaya po ni Paul, ituloy po natin ang laban na ito. Because there is an eternal price waiting for us. That's why we need to run with perseverance. Tapusin po natin itong labang ito. Tapusin po natin itong race na ito ng nagtatagumpay. Amen po? Kaya sabi ni Paul, ito yung summary ng kanyang buhay. At the end of his life, he is summarizing what he had done. Ano po? Yung kanyang race, yung kanyang race of Christian life, 
sinasummarize niya po dito sa, sec- sa Timothy. Sa book of Timothy, 2 Timothy chapter 4, verse 6 to 7, this is Paul telling to Timothy, ano po, sabi niya, As for me, my life has already been poured out as an offering to God. Grabe, ano po, no? Yung aking buhay, sabi niya, ay tinodo ko, binuhos, bottoms up, as an offering to my God. Alam niya, na sa race na ito, hindi madali, there will be, there will be trials, persecution, disappointment, discouragement, ano po, na mahihirapan siya. Pero, sabi niya, as for me, Yung aking buhay, uh, alam niya kasi yung purpose niya. Alam niya kung sino yung kanyang pinaglilingkuran. Alam niya kung para kanino niya ito ginagawa. That's why when he summarized his life, sabi as for me, my life has already been poured out as an offering to God. The time of my death is near. Pero sabi niya po dito sa verse 7, ang ganda po ng sinabi niya, I have fought the good fight. Karabi ano? I have put, anong sinasabi ni Paul? Inilaban niya yung kanyang karera. Inilalaban pala ang, ang race of Christian life na ito. Hindi pala kunting problema, ayaw ka agad. Hindi pala kunting persecutions, ah, kayo na lang, ayaw ko na. Hindi pala ganun. We need to fight for this race. Kasi sabi niya, I have fight the good fight. Grabe, ano, inilaban ni Paul. Yung kanyang laban, yung kanyang race of life na ito. Hindi siya nagpatalo. Kung titignan mo yung kanyang buhay, ang dami pong nangyari. Ano po? Sabi niya, every, daily, his life is threatened. May threat sa kanyang buhay niya, araw-araw, pero hindi po niya tinigil ito. I have fight a good fight. At ang sabi po niya, I have finished the race. I have finished the race. Pwede bang sabihin mo sa katabi mo, let's finish the race. Let's finish the race. Let's finish the race. Amen po. Let's finish the race na tayo po ay nanada. Hindi po tayo magkakalaban sa race na ito. We are here together to win this race. Amen po. That's why let's finish the race. At kailangan natin ng Panginoon. Ano po? Sa, la- sa laban po. Let's finish the race. Why? Because this race is the race under grace. We cannot do this on our own. We cannot finish it with our own. Pero, ang sabi ng Panginoon, He will be with us on this race. Amen po? And to capsulize my preaching today, para po sa mga gusto ng sumuko, gustong ayaw, ayaw ng tumuloy sa kanilang Christian life, sa kanilang paglilingkod, sa mga bugbog ng persecution at problema sa kanilang Christian life, I want you to watch this video.
restless heart beat so imperfectly, but when you come, I am filled with wonder. Sometimes I think I glimpse eternity. Hallelujah. Can you relate with this race? Can you relate with this race? Along the way, this race, there will be pain, there will be disappointment, there will be struggle, there will be persecution. But God promised us not just to be alone on this race. Just like what, what happened to this man. Sinamahan siya ng Panginoon. Sinamahan siya ng tatay niya. And this is our Father in Heaven. And this is the race under grace. Kaya kung tayo nahihirapan, pag-ayon ng tayong ba, yung lalaking yun na nasa karera ngayon ng kanyang, ng kanyang buhay, and he, he, failed to pin, he failed to win the race, but he managed to finish the race. Kaya ngayon pong umaga ito, Marami sa atin minsan kapag uh, pagdating sa race of Christian life, dahil sa persecution, dahil sa problema, sa trials, kinakaharap, sinasabi ng iba, kayo na lang. Kayo ko na, kayo na lang. Nasabi mo na ba yan? Nasabi mo na ba yan? But I want you to tell this today, let's finish the race. Let's finish the race because God is with us. And this is the race under grace. Pwede mo ba tayo lahat ito mayo? Kami mo stand up today. Hallelujah. Oh, we praise your name, God. Can we lift up our hands for the Lord today? Hallelujah, Lord. Here are your people, God. Panginoon, we are all in this race of Christian life. And this is not an easy race for us. Ang iba sa amin, we are in pain right now. We are in great trouble, problem right now, and persecution right now, God. And misa nasasabi namin na, Lord, ayoko na. Na Lord, ayoko na. But today, we will come to the Lord and say, Lord, I will finish the race. Lord, I will finish the race. Knowing that you are with me in this race, I want to finish this race with you, God. Hallelujah. Let's come to the Lord today. Oh, hallelujah. Standing in awe of your grace, Lord. setting my feet in your way. Entering into your presence To behold you face to face God of all heaven and earth Holding me in your embrace Failing love that surrounds me. Oh God, I stand amazed. 
Magang ito, if you are that person na gusto mong tapusin ang laban na ito, if you are that person that you want to finish the race, na Lord, Panginoon, ang hirap nito, Panginoon. May pain, may discouragement, Panginoon, mayroong mga persecution. But Lord, today, I make a decision to finish this race, Lord God. And if you are that person, kahit na leader tayo, kahit na po tayo matagal na, if you are that person that you want to finish this race, you can come here in front and we love to pray for you. You can come here in front. We love to pray for you. Walang nakakahiya. Hindi nakakahiya na lumapit sa Panginoong Diyos. Just come, just come. Hallelujah. Oh, yes, Lord God. Let's continue this race for the Lord. Let's continue to fight for this race. Run the race. Oh, hallelujah. Yes, Lord. Entering into your presence. To behold you face to face. Oh, hallelujah. God of all well, come on, just come. Just come. The Lord is here. He wants to lift you up today. So, what to look at the Pagilon? Oh, hallelujah. God, you are in this place. Oh, hallelujah. Yes, Lord. We want to win this race for you, God. Oh, God, I stand amazed. My Jesus, my Lord, you're the love of my life. Wherever you go, wanna be by your side.
Jesus, my Lord, you're the love of my life. Yes, God. Wherever you go, wanna be by your side. No longer I, but Christ living in me. Yes, Lord. Serving you for all. Before this service ends, pwede mo ba yung katabi natin o yung kapamilya natin, asawa mo, anak mo, kasitwes mo, we will pray together. We will pray together and sabi natin sa kanila, encourage natin sila, let's finish this race. Let's finish this race together. Come on, come on, just pray with them. With them. Sige po, yung, yung, yung katabi mo, mag-anak mo, kasitwes mo, just, just pray together as we We finish this race together. Hallelujah, hallelujah. Oh, come on, come on, come on. Hallelujah. Oh, hallelujah. Yes, Lord, yes, God, 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 come on, come on, come on, just pray. Let's finish this race together. My Jesus, my Lord, you're the love of my life. Wherever you go, wanna be by your side. No longer I, but Christ lives in me. Serving you for all his
Hallelujah, Lord. Thank you for your grace today, O Lord God. Thank you for the grace under this race, Panginoon. Kaya Lord, salamat po dahil ngayong magang ito, we will finish this race. We will run to win this race, O Lord God. Thank you for your love. Thank you for the grace. Thank you for the strength, Panginoon, that you supplied today, Panginoon. That despite of discouragement, despite of painful experience, of heartaches, of, this, of offenses, of problems that we will encounter, O Lord God, we will finish this race because you are with us, O Lord God. So thank you, Lord, for this wonderful time that you empower us with your love and your grace, O Lord God, and your word. We honor you and we glorify your name. In Jesus' mighty name, we pray. Amen, amen and amen. we were able to learn from His Word today. Anyway, what's your takeaway for today's preaching? You can share it sa ating comment section below or pwede din sa inyong C2S family. And for our tithes and offering naman po, you can send it through GCash or back. If you are available, you can come to our church and personally drop your tithes. That's it for this week, church! Thank you for joining us and the Lord this Sunday. God bless you in your family, studies, and work. See you all next week!